What are you living for in life? What are your goals in life? If the objective of this life is simply to enjoy the pleasures of this world, to make more money and to be famous, you have shortchanged yourself. This is because we are not just mere animals. We are human beings with a rational mind and most of all a spirit. If we want to find true fulfillment in life, we need to go beyond just living for ourselves and even for this life. Only driven by a higher goal that is transcendental that can truly give us meaning and purpose. And so the church wants us always to be prepared for the coming of the Lord in our lives every day and at the last day especially. To prepare ourselves means to say that we are fully engaged in living this life to the fullest, using whatever resources, whatever talents, whatever gifts the Lord has blessed us with, and to use it for the building of his kingdom, the kingdom of love and justice and peace. It is living this kingdom life already here on this earth that we prepare ourselves for the final kingdom that is to come. We have received the gifts of the Spirit. We have the natural gifts of intelligence, of wealth, of resources, of skills, but we also have supernatural gifts that the Spirit brings and gives to each one of us. And therefore, it is important that as disciples of Jesus, we use all our natural gifts, our natural resources, and the spiritual gifts that the Lord has given to us. The Word of God, the sacraments, the Christian community, all these are means by which we can live out the kingdom life. But my dear brothers and sisters, if we want to be people who usher in the kingdom life, we cannot be complacent. We cannot take things for granted. We need to be proactive. We need to take risks. We need to take initiative. The reason why many people live mediocre life, it is because they do not live for a passion. They cannot invest their life on something that is truly worth sacrificing every ounce of their energy. They live superficially. That is why it is important that we must be able to give our life to something, to a person. And for us, Christian, is to give ourselves to Jesus for the work of the kingdom. And this means, of course, taking risk. For us as Christians, we have received the gift of faith, which is the greatest gift that anyone can receive more than just natural gifts. As Christians, we are clear of our purpose in life. We are clear of our goal. We know what we are living for. We know what is the ultimate goal in life. And we have been given all the resources, all the means are made available to us to reach that ultimate goal. But many of us, we are irresponsible. We do not take the risk of really living the kingdom life to the fullest. We don't make use of the resources that the Lord has given to us to establish His kingdom in the world or even to proclaim the gospel in explicit ways because we are afraid. We are afraid that we might be ridiculed. We are afraid that we might be the loser in the end. Because we want to be like the rest of the world. We are more concerned about what the world thinks of us. What opinion they have of us. Whether they like us. Whether we are popular. 
rather than what does God think of me? Am I faithful to Him? My dear brothers and sisters, if we are afraid to take the risk to be true disciples of our Lord, to announce the good news whenever we have the opportunity, we are traitors. If not for the fact that Jesus took the risk to proclaim the gospel in spite of oppositions and even to die for us, if not for the fact that missionaries from Europe, if they had not come to the Far East, risking their lives to come to a foreign land that they did not know the culture or the people, today we would not have the Catholic faith, the Christian faith. It was their sacrifices. It was because they took the risk. And today, do we take risk to proclaim the gospel courageously? We are fearful. We are timid. Or we are simply lazy and complacent. Taking risks is what is required of us. Especially during this time of pandemic, we need to ask ourselves, how can we take risks? To take risks means that we trust in the power of God. To take risks means to say, we believe that God is the one who will work in and through our cooperation with Him. And those of us who take risks show ourselves to be responsible. And my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord does not expect us to do more than is required of us. God does not expect us to do more than we can. The Lord is not so much concerned of how much we do for Him, but whether we maximize our life, 100%. If you want to live a life that is fulfilling, you must give yourself 100% to the task to the mission the Lord has given to you, to your vocation. If you give yourself 100%, that is the meaning of fulfillment. But if you do not live your life to the fullest by giving yourself totally to what the Lord has called you to do, you will live half fulfilled life. It doesn't matter whether you are a great doctor or you are just only a Ordinary doctor, it doesn't matter whether you're a professor or whether you're just a lecturer, it doesn't matter. What matters is we live our life to the fullest. And then this is where when our potentials are being exercised, we grow and we excel. The Lord helps us to expand our capacity to love, our capacity to serve. If you want to live the life to the fullest, we need to expand our heart. We need to expand our capacity to love more and more each day. Once we expand our capacity, then we know that life becomes full of joy, full of meaning. When we live this life, we too will find ourselves being perfected in His grace, in His love.